Hello and welcome to Born to Ride with me, Neil McKenzie, the show that follows Viking hopefuls competing to be the best in their chosen motorsport. On this week's show, we follow a young rider as he competes in round 9 of the 2002 Solo Supermoto Championship. Going to find a good show and win some races, hopefully. I hope they both stay on and get a good result. The track's good, uh, it's a bit wet. Um, Get up to speed. I mean, no one's been here before, so it's all equal. No one's got an advantage over anyone else, so it should be a good day's racing. Our racer this week is David Jackson. This 17-year-old from Lincolnshire has always been a keen biker, but it's only in the last year that he's taken his riding seriously when he joined the Alice Racing Team in March 2002. A new force to be reckoned with in the supermoto racing who's given the pros a run for their money. David's ambition is to race abroad in the European Road Racing Championships and if he keeps up his current pace we should see him competing in Europe very soon. He's young and he's fast so he's just, you know, he's, he's got no fear so he's, and he's got the ability to go with it so he makes him a good rider. Our first season with David this year has probably gone too well in some ways because that raises your expectations but we've trying to keep her feet on the ground and this is just practice for next year which then we will take it more seriously. Supermoto is a fairly recent addition to the UK biking scene. Essentially take an enduro or motocross bike and fit it with 17 inch wheels, sticky tyres and big brakes and you've got a supermoto bike. Most of the ready built bikes produce around 40 to 50 brake horsepower at the rear wheel and weigh 120 to 150 kilos. Stuart Smith owns the Alice racing team that manages David Jackson. David joined the team in March 2002 when Stuart noticed his talent was being wasted. It was a joint decision between myself and David Jackson um, who wanted to go racing and we felt this was the quickest way to get noticed and get him experience. I've been riding bikes since I was about five years old, four years old. I've raced since I was um, 14. I raced at the beach at Mablethorpe on the sand. Um, first year I finished third, then I finished second, and the third year I finished first. Moved up into the adults and finished second. Um, and then met Stuart and started racing Supermoto. The first season has gone better than expected, but has also brought problems because we're running with you know the top guys. Um, one or two crashes, so better than we've expected. We decided to go into Supermoto because it's the best mix of road racing and motocross um, and it, it mixes both skills which should be a springboard to better things. Supermoto is a good sport to be in, um, it's not too expensive, spectacular, fast, um, great to watch, um, even better to ride obviously. I'm used to motocross bikes and I like road racing, it's the best combination because you've got the best of both worlds, you've got road tyres and a motocross bike. Adam Marshall is also part of the team. His first season in the Supermoto Championship has been very up and down, but he hopes to do much better next year. I've only done four or five meetings this year, and I started racing Supermoto after David, so I've had a bit of an up and down time. I've had a few crashes, and we've had a few problems with the engines, so it's, it's been a bit up and down, but I've enjoyed it. It's good having a teammate because obviously you can relay information to each other about the track and about things that are happening on your bike um, and you can obviously you know get information from each other so it's, it's good. We can both help each other out with strategy and tyre pressures and suspension settings. Um, we can both learn off each other um, techniques and things like that. Um, it's a lot easier to handle the bikes if there's more of you, you can, it's not as hard work loading the van. You have two riders that help each other. Um, you learn f both bikes, they, they, they swap settings, um, and you've got two bikes at the Cherry. This week the team is in the picturesque location of Anglesey in northwest Wales. Having travelled 200 miles, the team stay in a local hotel the day before the race. After such a long journey, it's important to check the bikes and the gear are all in order. The night before I'll just think through what I'm going to do, um, 
about the bikes, what's wrong with them, see if there is any problems that need sorting out. And just what it's going to be like, what the weather's like, find out and just relax really. David seems to be having a few problems. It's like the right last time. Different, doesn't it? Let's try it. Why do you think that would happen? Travel down here, fueling the carburetor, going into the barrel, squeezing the throttle too much. It hasn't been started in a week. Any reason, really. Bad luck. Sometimes get a lot of that. Now we're gonna um, put the bikes away, have some food maybe. Having never been to the Anglesey race circuit before, the team sits down to watch some of the footage of the course. This gives them an idea of what to expect. If you, if you think about the first corner at Blyton, though, yeah, it's about the same. Isn't it's it? about the same, isn't it? Yeah, it's even, you know, just you have to see in practice, really. But that's fast. Because it's even, because the track's wide, isn't it? Mm. So do road races when it goes in cars. They've got it. It's dry. Them tyres will be perfect, won't they? Yeah. Put some cuts on the left and it's going to have to be really raining for wet. For wet, yeah. Else you stay with the slicks, I think. Yeah. This is where they got That's stuck. A, <laughs> it's a proper supermoto jump, that, isn't it? Yeah. Probably change the gearing because it looks faster than we thought. Yeah. Mind you, we didn't change it for um, three sisters, did we? No, but that straight looks long. Do you reckon? Mm. Long, yeah. I suppose you can only decide when we get there, though. Yeah, well, Can't we'll, we'll have a walk around in the morning. You're better off gearing it high rather than low, I think, yeah. for practice. It's yeah. still fashion, isn't it? Mm. And some heavy sleeping tonight, I think. It's race day at the Anglesey Race Circuit. By 9am, the paddock is full for round 9 of the 2002 Solo Supermoto Championship. We're at Anglesey today, miles from almost everywhere, surrounded by sea. Um, it's a superb track. We've never been here before. It has been used for rallycross before, but it is a very good track. It's uh, probably quite short, so there's a bit of overtaking, uh, but it's a very good track. Good mixture of tarmac and loose, fast tarmac, and tricky loose and a jump. The team set up in the paddock. David and Adam get their bikes out and ready for scrutineering. But you don't start. Gonna go get a bike scrutineered. Um, wait for the riders briefing where they tell you some rules and things like that. Um, and then go out for practice. Come back, set the suspension, do uh, necessary what we need to do, and go racing. And today I think I'm starting the B's because of my championship points. So hopefully I should finish in the top three, get into the A's. And then I have to start at the back in the A's because I've moved up and then hopefully it'll all be down to the last race. Just going to go to scrutineering, get the bikes checked over and my helmet for safety reasons. It's just checking my bike over, brakes, uh, make sure nothing's loose, the wheels aren't bent, the bearings are alright. Uh, just really making sure the bike doesn't fall apart while I'm going around uh, and that it's safe to ride for me and other competitors. Nora, the National Off-Road Racing Association, is a British club that organises supermoto on specially designed tracks throughout the UK. The supermoto track is pretty unique. With a mixture of natural and tarmac surfaces, the supermoto track is one that challenges every type of rider. This round of the championship contains five groups from A to E. 
In each round there are four races for each group. After each race series, the top three riders in the groups are promoted to the next group up, and the bottom three in the group are demoted to the next group down. Championship points are awarded from the winner of the A group down to the last finisher in the E group. We have over 130 riders riding in the solo groups and uh, we split them into five groups. The A group is the best group and it's based on current championship points. So the top riders are in the A group and that, they really are worth watching. It's a good sport, it's, it's, it's good to watch, it's good for the crowd. It's close racing, you know, it's fierce racing, there's plenty of contact in the corners. Um, yeah, and it's, it's, it's good racing, it's more so it's good for the crowd. Coming up in part two. Days racing. As I say, they either crash or win, and when they win, they win by a, a big margin usually. We'll be back after the break. Welcome back to Born to Ride with me, Neil McKenzie. This week we're following David Jackson and his team in round 9 of the 2002 Solo Supermoto Championship. Back at the Anglesey race circuit, practice is underway. We've walked around the track. Um, looks good, nice surface, fast corners, it's a right handed track, um, the shell looks a bit slippery, nice big jump, it's been a good day. The corners seem a lot more open than they usually are, Instead of, sometimes you get first gear corners and they're a bit tight but it seems like the track's going to be a flowing track today, so which should suit me. There'll probably be a lot of crashes as well, be a lot of crashes. It's like you go down, um, going past the pit wall, it's downhill and if you go in fairly quick it loads suspension and sometimes they'll slip so there'll be a lot of crashes down there I reckon. Adam is first up to practice. Slippy on the wet stuff though, because it's water to track, so. But no, it should be a good day. So. Filthy! I know, I was, right, I was behind someone for the whole session because I, I thought I'd follow them because I'd get a few lines off them, like, do you know what I mean? And see what, rather than just trying to pass them and then, you know, go away. So, no, it was good, enjoyed it. David's bike has been playing up, so he takes Adam's bike out to practice while Stuart works on the bike. out on my bike for practice because um, this bike's flooded because it's been in the van with the fuel on. It's just flooded the carbs and sometimes it won't start so just to save less brushing about he's gone out on my bike. We'll have this going ready for the first race so that's right. Turn the fuel on. Track's good. Uh, it's a bit wet. Um, you get up to speed. I mean, no one's been here before, so it's all equal. No one's got an advantage over anyone else, so should be a good day's racing. Time for the D groups race. 
Adam takes his place in the lineup ready to enter the track. His race went well but wasn't good enough to get up into the C group. This is the first time Nora have used the Anglesey circuit for the solo Super Moto Championship, so quite a few riders come off the track. David's first race of the day. Um, I feel nervous because I haven't ridden my bike yet, so we'll see. I fell off um, going up to the top part of the section, somebody cut me up and ate the back wheel, they nearly fell off as well. So I went down, um, I got back on, I think I was dead last, um, I'm not sure where I finished, it was a good race. I caught back up really quick, I reckon I finished in the top 10 easily, I'll go find out. The atmosphere in the paddock is really relaxed. Although there is an air of rivalry, most are here to have fun. I'm in the groups, first time I'm in a racing since about two or three months. Came full from bottom and uh, really having a, just having a laugh now, I think. Go out for the next race and just see how I get on, really. Easy, free, friendly paddock to, uh, to muck around. You can chat to anybody and see what's going on. The paddock's a pretty friendly place, really. Um, it's a bit clicky, everyone sort of knows what's going on with each other and there's often a few little rival rivalries between people but uh, it's generally a pretty fun place to be. The Anglesey race circuit is a windy and cold track so racers need to keep their tyres warm during races. Adam takes his position on the starting line for his next race. He leads all the way, a comfortable win that puts him into the C group, exactly where he wanted to be. Well? Yeah, wicked, I won, so yeah, it's dead pleased, led from start to finish, so yeah, I'm really chuffed, yeah, it's brilliant. So, now what? Uh, now go up to the next group, which is the C's, um, which I have to start from the back of the grid from, because when you move up, you start from the back, um, but I'll have a go, see if I can win that group next, so go from there. David lines up for his next race, and he's off. a race and that guarantees David a position in the A group. As Stuart explains, this is where he deserves to be. This is typical really because they, they both seem to mess about in the first race, then get their act together and then, as I say, they either crash or win and when they win, they win by a, a big margin usually. But the racing starts now because they're both in, so David's in the A's, Adam's in the C's, so the racing starts now if you like. I had an average first race, um, which was fair enough, and then had a, obviously a win in the second race, which was good. Um, it was easy really, one too, one too difficult, because I led from the start. I would expect David to get fairly well up in the A's, and Adam should win the C's and into the B's. It's just the way it's structured. Um, but I would expect them both to carry on as they're doing now and, and learn the track. Today, today is typical 
you have teething problems, one of them crashes, but as you get, as you put the day together, the later races, by then you've usually sussed it out, and hopefully you can mix it with the big boys. David Jackson finished round nine of the championship fourth in the Group A final. Adam finished well in the Group C final. David came 28th overall in the 2002 Solo Super Moto Championship. Having proved their worth, the Alice Racing Team have now attracted major sponsors that will make them stronger than ever for the 2003 season. If you fancy having a go at Supermoto Racing, then check out our website, menandmotors.com. You'll find some information on how to get into the sport. If you wanted to get into the sport um, and you got into it, take your time. Standard bike's more than enough to use to race with. Um, just really learn the tracks and take it slow because it's on tarmac, so if you fall off it does hurt. Those who are interested in Supermoto should get into it now because it's, an, it's a growing sport and I can only see it getting bigger. Um, and it's fun and it's not too expensive, so I'd say, you know, just a standard bike's good enough, so just go down to your local dealer and buy a bike and turn up. Give it a go, you just won't regret it. I mean, I'm a nobby, no, you know, nobby nobody, and uh, loving it, it's just so much fun. Uh, recommend it, it's my first season, and I'm coming back next year, definitely. Join us again next week on another Born to Ride, the ultimate guide to the world of motorcycle sports.